Hey everybody, welcome into this new video of Taxpress. In this tutorial, let's take a look into how you can get started with Google AdSense for your actual Google account or whatever you want it to. So, uh, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be like doing this really, really easy, real quick. We just need a Google account. So, the first thing you want to do is to sign into your Google account. As you can see, I am already in here. I want you just to sign in. And once you are already signed in, you want to go into the .com section and look out for Google AdSense manager and once we are in here you want to go into this uh, adsense.google.com so um in the latest video that we uploaded we talked about how we can get started with an actual blog using blogger so with this actual field with this actual space i'm going to be using this blogger so i can add my google adsense inside blogger so then later on i can show you how this actually works so as you can see i have this blog created something really really easy so the very first thing i want to do is to well at the end of the video of course i want to see the google adsense working with this actual blog so i want to go here into the actual adsense.google.com and i want to locate the get started version so uh what i want to do is to choose my account i'm going to click there and now it's going to be asking for your site this one is going to be really really important to track information that's the reason why i wanted to use google adsense because we want to track information from one site and we wanted to enable ads inside the actual website in my case i'm going to be using blogger so i'm going to go back here i'm going to go with my actual blog which is actually this one i copy it i go back here and i'm going to paste my website so once you have this one, get more out of AdSense. You want to go into send me customized help from suggestions if you want to. In my case, you just want to disable this option. And now your payment country territory is really important to choose the country where you're currently living because since we are getting paid, we need to select and we need to verify, of course, the identity and to ensure that we can get paid. So I wanted to use the Mexico in my case. I want to scroll a little bit down. Here it is. And as you can see, have my terms and conditions depending on the country you're currently living and of course the actual language. So just take your time to read all of this, agree to the terms and service and go with start using AdSense. Once you have clicked there, it's going to be sending you into your very first part of the Google AdSense. So what I want to do is to add three following steps to start ending with ads. Number one is to tell us about yourself. So I want to go into enter information. And here, what I want to do is to type everything about myself, the customer information, the name and the address and the primary contact. As you can see, of course, you might see this like blur because this is really basic information and private information. So I want to just use that information later on so I can submit it. I hit into submit, I delete that. And then later on, I need to add a phone number to get the verification code. Once again, you're seeing this blur. So I wanted to use my phone number. I hit into send and I choose text message, of course, I hit into send and then later on, I need to verify the code. So I'm going to just skip this part and then let's go to the next part of the video. So now I want to focus into the next part, which is see how ads look into your site. So I want to hit into explore. This one should be taking this is just something for a crane, just to disable that part. Now let's go for get started. Now Google is finding our blog spot. As you can see, here is our actual uh, blog. So um, I want to go into auto ad app. I want to get the code and I need to copy and paste the AdSense code in between head to head tags of your site. Place this code on every page across your site. So I want to go into copy the code snippet and hit into done. So I can do this manually or I can do this automatically. If I'm using Blogger, I think it's going to be really, really easy to do that. I can just go back here into my Blogger side, uh, go into configuration, and I want to connect my AdSense account. So once I connected that, I can go into AdSense. So as you can see, I have this boson. Uh, what I wanted to do once again is to go into my settings, into my earnings, of course, connect my AdSense. And once my actual AdSense has now been connected, it says your block isn't ready to show ads and needs attention. You need to fix some things before you can connect AdSense to your block. So I need to check my email, go to AdSense and find out what is the actual issue. So let's go back here. I'm going to go into reload the page and go into my ad section. 
So um, just I wanted to make sure what is actually happening into my actual page. Here, as you can see, into the upper side, I have a few ads already been listed. This is just like uh, as an example, of course. I have the ad settings. I have other ads enabled. This is how it's going to be looking on a phone. This is how it's going to be looking on a computer. Down in here is my outer ad example. Here's the overlay full mode. These are the three full modes that you can enable if you wanted to, of course, help appear with your Google Ads. I know that you wanted to earn the money, but it's pretty annoying to enter into a place where everybody is seeing lots and lots of ads. So you want to just enable the one that best suits for you. For example, side rail ads is not looking great for me. So I want to, I want to disable that. I'm just going to be enable some anchor ads and being it ads because it's more easier to people to just scroll and later on and exclude that. So I can go into turn overlay ads on white screen. I can leave it like that, of course. And now let's focus into in page formats. So if I have the multiplic ads, I think I can enable it and I have the ad load. If you wanted to add more money, you can of course have the ad load on the maximum. But in my case, I don't want to spam like a lot of people with a lot of ads. So I want to just go a little bit just down here like this, I believe. And let Google optimize your existing ad units. You can go back and I have the exclude areas. I want to just leave this like that and I don't want to exclude any page because I just want, I just have one block and I don't want to exclude a lot of pages because I don't have just a lot of pages actually. I want to apply this into the side. I hit into apply now. I hit into save and the shoe of our ads is now being enabled. So the changes can be taken up to an hour to reflect into your site. You can hit now into dismiss. I have here the fine tune to your placement during control and hit into get started. So now, as you can see, I'm ready to get started here into some ads. Now we have the site. This is my all ads page exclusion. And we have the report. The report is going to be telling me how many people clicked in here, how many people clicked into uh, some ads that I have just added here. And then if, as people are getting started and clicking into ads that they do saw into my blog, I'm going to be earning more and more money. So here's the verify side, the placement method, the impressions, the clicks, and the estimate earnings. So there we go. So as you can see, it's not that hard to actually connect your Google Sites account. I can go into the home page and now my site has now been connected. So go into let go. And there we go. So as you can see, the platform will connect to your site to AdSense. I hit into next. I request a review and this review might be taking up to 48 hours to connect. But since we do have everything now being corrected and Blogger is a great place to start some um, adding some ads, we don't have to worry about that and we can start uh, to work here actually into into blogger if you wanted to do this into in a specific website you need to find your edit code so you can do this manually and the process is not that hard so with that being said guys i think we've now covered the basics so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do actually want to add money here into your google ad sense account so thank you once again for watching the video guys and well with that being said i'll see you on the next video